Welcome back to Studio 5. Dry eye is a common condition that many of us, myself included, suffer with, especially in our dry desert climate. And Dr. Zachary Zavodny with the Eye Institute of Utah says oftentimes drops just don't cut it. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. True fact, a lot of Utahns come into your office with this problem. It's extremely common. And as you mentioned, it's, it's related to our dry environment and our high altitude. Um, it's uh, certainly more common here than elsewhere in the country. It seems yeah. so common, yeah. I almost feel silly for asking this question, yeah. but in the vein of being nice and thorough, I'll ask, what are the symptoms of dry eye? Well, most commonly, eye redness, a gritty feeling, sort of a sandy sort of feeling is very common. Uh, burning, not unusual as well. Um, fluctuations in vision, so sometimes vision seeming better than other times, also common with dry eye. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, excessive tearing is also associated with dry eye. I think a lot of patients come in and they're surprised by that. Yeah, that surprises and me. I know, and you know, part of it is our body's response to having dry eye is to tear excessively. And so I'll have patients come in with tearing and it actually turns out they have dry eye. So that can be a Interesting. surprise. Interesting. Yeah. So when you listen to that symptom list, my mind also goes to allergies, right? Mm -hmm. Which a lot of people suffer from as well here in this state. Absolutely. So how can you distinguish between the two? You know, probably the biggest distinguisher would be itching. So typically itching is more of an, an allergy. Okay. Um, and, and also certainly seasonal changes. Um, not surprisingly with allergies, you'd expect them to be worse different times of the year. Whereas dry eye tends to be a year long problem. So that's what, those are some of the Differences. That's helpful. Yeah. Let's talk about treatment. Are drops effective? You know, for some people they are. Um, and certainly the most common things that, that uh, people will try at home will be artificial tears right. or artificial gels. There are even prescription drops. Um, most commonly people, you may have seen ads for something called Restasis. Right. And, and this drop actually helps you to make more tears. But there certainly is a population of patients that this just isn't enough. And uh, truly what it boils down to is the fact, you have to kind of think about what causes dry eye. And one of the biggest causes of dry eye is the fact that we don't make enough oil. And you might be thinking, what, what do you mean by oil? Mm -hmm. Well, our eyes are coated with both water and oil. And that oil sits on top of the water okay. and basically prevents evaporation. So if you don't have good oil, you're, you know, it doesn't matter how many tears you put into your eye, you're still going to be symptomatic. Uh -huh. So, so a lot of the newer uh, modalities for treatment are focused on improving our oil production as opposed to just uh, uh, replacing water and or tears. And you do that how? Well, so there's several different ways. You know, kind of at-home remedies would include application of heat onto the eyelids. Okay. Um, you can also uh, take natural oil supplements, things like fish oil, flaxseed oil. These things help us uh, make better oil. Mm -hmm. um, for some people, and actually for a lot of people, that's not quite enough. And so uh, at the Eye Institute, we've got uh, several new treatments that are focused on uh, improving oil production. And one of them that uh, we're really excited about that just came to the practice is something called intense pulse light therapy. Uh, we call it IPL. Okay. And what this is, is it's a five to 10 minute in office procedure. Uh -huh. um, you can go back to work or go about your day right afterwards, so there's no downtime. And it consists of a series of light treatments that are put, uh, placed on your eyelid. And you might be thinking, what do you mean eyelid? I thought we were talking about dry eye. Well, the eyelid is where these oil glands live. Okay. okay. And so what the light does is really two things. One, it provides heat. Okay. And that heat helps to break up and kind of loosen thicker oil deposits that might be clogging normal oil flow. That makes sense, okay. yeah. The other thing that it does, it actually helps to shrink blood vessels, okay? And blood vessels uh, on the surface of the eye bring inflammation. And inflammation just causes our tissues not to work very well. Gotcha. And so by, by diminishing the amount of inflammation that gets to the eye, we have better functioning oil glands. And better functioning oil glands lead to symptom improvement. And so that's, we see a lot of that with our IPL patients. Amazing, the yeah. layers yeah. of, of know. It's, treatment yeah. options yeah. Though, that are available. Yeah. That's so helpful. Yeah. People can schedule a consultation by calling your office. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And they can have a consultation where we can really evaluate what the cause of their dry eye is and come up with really a customized dry eye uh, treatment just for them, which okay. I think is nice. So, Very yeah. helpful. Dr. Yeah. Zavodny, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah.